Okay, this thing is getting out of control. Oh, it's getting bigger. Oh! Hello guys, what is up? This is Cowie and welcome back to the Vulture SMP Snapshot Test Server. And in recent snapshots, Mojang added the Lingering Potion to Minecraft. And if you're not aware of what that does, is it creates a cloud of the effect and you go in there and you get the effect. But what this cloud actually is, is its own unique entity. And it's actually extremely customizable. There's a lot of stuff we can do with this using commands. So I'm going to show you guys all the cu uh, custom stuff that you can do using this entity. So the first tag that I'm going to show you is the radius tag. And what this one is, is simple. It's just radius 5. And that determines the radius of the cloud that gets deployed. So if we step on that, we should see about a radius of 5. And we kind of do. We, that's what we, well, I mean, we can get estimate that that's 5 blocks. And it should be. But it doesn't really stick around. So what we need to add is a duration tag. Now here we have duration 100, and this is in ticks. So it's 20 ticks to a second, so 100 divided by 20 is 5. So this should last for 5 seconds. And we'll see that cloud, and it should dissipate after 5 seconds of being around. And it's gone. 5 seconds. So we can determine the duration of the cloud using that tag. The next one though is just aesthetic. So we can have a color tag. Now this is a bunch of random stuff and there's no real good way to determine this color. So there's actually a generator that I use and you basically just choose a color from a color picker and it will spit out the number that you can use inside of Minecraft. Now there will be a link to that down in the video description. So if you guys want to choose your custom colors you can do that there. But this one's purple and as you can see it does make the particle that color. So we've got a nice purple particle there. And yeah, of course that could be anything, like literally any color that you could think of. But if you do not want to have that potion particle kind of thing, you can choose any type of particle in the game. So here we're doing particle flame, and we should see little flame particles. And of course we do, and that was, that was bizarre. Apparently I can't press space quick enough to start flying. But yeah, we get flame particles uh, that that uh, change the look of the field and that is pretty cool and the next one here is the wait time and what this one does is this is once again in ticks this will wait that amount of time before deploying the field so if we do this one it should wait 50 ticks like that and then uh, go into the full size cloud after the wait time is over and then dissipate as it would normally so that's a pretty cool one. It's not exactly a functional thing, it's more so an aesthetic, but it's kind of both. But at the moment, these clouds are not doing anything. So if I was to go and jump in one of these clouds, it would not give me any potion effects because it is basically a dormant, a dormant, um, a dormant cloud. And this guy is actually going to be a pain in the butt. I want to get rid of him. Look at him. Look at him being a troll. Okay, so golems aside, the next tag I want to show you guys is the effect tag. And this is actually going to allow us to put our own potion effects. So in here, effects ID 5, I don't even remember what that is. I think it's strength. Amplify 0, duration 60. So that should mean that it uses the strength potion particles. We go in there and we get our strength potion on our, on our player. So that is basically doing what a lingering potion would normally do, except it is, uh, you can customize the length and the amplifier of the potion. But the cool thing is that you can actually use multiple effects at once, just by using this list, uh, list kind of organized dealio thing. And here we're adding jump boost and something else, speed I believe. We are adding speed indeed. So we're going to be adding speed and jump boost to the player. So if we go ahead and summon in this cloud, and you'll actually see it's a weird color. That's because it's mixing the color of the new, new par uh, the two particles, which is a new feature of uh, these snapshots. But yeah, we did get both those effects if you saw up in the corner, and that is uh, that's pretty cool because that's you can have as many effects as you like. It's not just limited to two or three. You can have quite a number of effects on your cloud. The next tag is the reapplication delay tag. And what this is going to do is it's pretty self-explanatory, I'd say. It's actually going to uh, 
to determine how long it takes for it to reapply your potion effect. So reapplication delay here is 40 ticks, which is equal to 2 seconds. So when we go inside this cloud, we should see our thing going back to 10 every 2 seconds. So it should go to 10, and then to 8, and then back to 10. And that's what it's doing. You just can't see that it's on 10, because, I mean, it's only on there for a fraction of a second before it actually gets down to 9.9, .9, which would display as 9 on the uh, timer. But yeah, it, it can control how long it takes for the effect to be reapplied. This one here is the radius on use, and in the vanilla game, it is set to shrink. So here we go, radius on use will be negative one. So what that means is that when a player actually gets the um, potion effect from the cloud, the cloud will shrink by one block in radius, and that's what it's doing here. So that is normal behavior for the game. It's actually 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 by default, I believe. And we can actually change this to be the opposite effect, which is, uh, I guess, useful in some circumstances. So here we have radius on use to grow, which is exactly the same. We're just setting it to 1 rather than negative 1. So now that every time we go inside this cloud, it should actually grow a block. So if we go inside, it gets a one block bigger. It gets one block bigger. And that would go on and on until the cloud actually just completely disappears, as it should do in a couple of seconds. Right, the next tag is radius per, per tick. And in the vanilla game, it is also a negative number so that it shrinks. But as you can see here, over time, it is shrinking. And using this tag, we can determine what time frame that happens over. So here we have negative 0.1. So every 20th of a second, the field gets smaller by one tenth of a block using this value here. And of course, you could change that to whatever you would like. And here we have the same, but we're just using a positive value. And you'll see that it's actually going to grow until it dissipates. So we saw there that it was growing at that set rate. So guys, that is going to be it for today's 1.9 video. I hope you guys learnt something, learnt something new. And if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. It all does help. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.